Hey guys, Mr. Wolfcraft here, bringing you a Photoshop tutorial today. Uh, today's tutorial is on how to change a Minecraft face like this into a cartoon Minecraft face, kind of like this. You can use it for profile pics like Skype, YouTube, Twitch, whatever you want. Um, here's another example. This one has white hair, purple eyes, and just a regular skin color. And it might come up looking something like this, depending on which way you draw the hairlines, which is up to you. And whatever shape you decide to make the eyes. I decided to make them like that, just kind of round them out. Not really round them, but you get what I'm saying. Well, step number one for this is what I usually like to do, and for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to do uh, Ant Venom's head, actually. So, let me type in his name. Uh, in this website, witherhacks.com, you can get crack clients and stuff from this, but I usually use the skin stealer to just get the head of the skin. I'm really going to hope this works because sometimes it's a little bit glitchy. Alright, here we go. And you're gonna get something that looks like this. But it could be your skin, your friend's skin. The only reason I picked Ant Venom is because his face is a pretty simple face. Ignore that ad that came up. So, what I like about downloading it from this website is you can just hit download face, which is what I'm gonna do. And it's gonna come up here, show in folder, and I'm just gonna drag that right over to the desktop. Now, there is a template for this tutorial. Uh, you're probably going to need it, especially if you want the border around it and the shading on the side, which I'll leave a download link to. Um, let me open this up. This is the template I, showed, uh, I was talking about. Alright, you're going to get something that looks like this. Now, go File, Open. Now, go wherever you save that head. There's Ant Venom Face. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pointer tool, and sorry if I'm talking kind of fast, um, if you need me to slow down, ooh, um, that's right, if it is the uh, background, shit, duplicate layer, but okay, now you can just freely drag it, uh, I meant to drag this, just drag it into the next thing, and then you'll see his head. Now hold control T and you'll be able to size it. Now just kind of size it within the inside of the black border. Best you can. If you mess up a little bit, it won't matter. Alright. And there we go. Actually, let me. There. Apply. Now it's going to look a little bit pixelated like this, and you might want to move it around just a tiny bit so you can get any better. Alright, now you're going to want to take this layer, drag it below everything with the shading because it doesn't matter till the end. Now the next part, it, remember this tutorial is fairly easy, so just take the line tool, and wherever you see kind of lines, um, just take the line tool and drag them across. Try to make them a little bit more slanted than you do straight to make to get that full look. Like I'm gonna drag this down. And this is just a quick one. Um, if you make a mistake, hold Control Z and go back. So this face won't be 100% perfect, and I haven't done Ant Man's face before, so. Doesn't matter really how rough the lines are now. Uh, just give me a second here. And I'll draw the rest of the face in. Might not be even, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I will save some time. Alright. That was a bad line. Try to get as close to the previous line as you did, like, here, uh, as you can. And then, see this color change? Probably gonna want to get that in, so the draw a line there. And now comes the beard. Draw kind of a slant there. Okay, and kind of like that. Actually, let me fix that. Draw it out just a little bit more, so it's kind of even with the other side. And about there. 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 
Alright, now I'm gonna wanna fill in the mouth. I like to do this kind of slanted mouth, kind of been able to tell from my own profile pic. Alright, it looks pretty good. Now what you want to do is take the pointer tool after you've done uh, doing the lines, and you see the side over here. Hold down your shift button and scroll down to where you drew the first line, and just hold shift and click. Now hold control and E together, and they become one uh, group. Now go to blending options. Go to stroke. And you're gonna want to make this about 17. See how that thickened up. All right, like I said, this one isn't gonna be perfect, um, but for the sake of this tutorial, this is how it's gonna look. All right, now what you're gonna want to do is do the same thing with this shape right here in the border. Shift click, and then Control E. Make that one layer. Now, take your uh, dropper. Your, uh, yeah, the dropper tool. Take the color that you want from the underneath layer in a fill bucket. Can fill that in. See that filled the entire thing in for me. Um, get a shade of black here. Looking pretty good. Um, get that again. Yep. Uh, that was already filled pretty much. Dropper tool. Kind of like that. You can see the eyes are uneven, but uh, just for you can, if you notice that mistake, you can go all the way back and fix the line, and then, well, yeah, you can just fix that. But for this tutorial, I'm not going to, just because it would take a little while. Oops. Control Z. And then take that nice brown. The eyes. Kind of makes them look a little crazy too. With the different eyes going on. And sometimes you won't notice if it changes, but trust me, it does make kind of a difference because it makes the color a little bit thicker. Um, already got that. Fill it. Yeah, right now it's not really making too much of a difference, but in the final product it kind of does. Alright, well, this is the basic. Um, like I said, if you make a mistake, you can go back and fix it, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to. Um, now what you want to do, it, this doesn't even matter anymore. Actually, the way to fix where these lines are, you just gotta go to the fill bucket tool again. Oops. Hmm. Well, you just gotta go through and kind of touch them up like that. I don't know why the removing the back layer did that. I don't know how that happened either. Um. Actually, we'll just make his whole hat black. Looks pretty good to me. Um. Didn't come out looking too much like the original like I was hoping for but like I said if you want to go through touch it up make it look exactly like it should um, you can but yeah this is just my example and then you want to move the shading layer all the way up to the top to give it that kind of you know looking like the light coming in just kind of makes it look better um, but yeah, this is our final copy here. Well, uh, even though I did make a few mistakes, as you can tell. Um, but yeah, you can do it with anybody's face. Uh, if they do have a, a hat that needs to go on there, then what you need to do instead of just downloading the head, I should have mentioned this before, but you just download the whole skin and then use Photoshop to crop around uh, where the head is and then drag it over to the face. And that'll work for you. But yeah, uh, this is my Ant Venom head. 
without well, this is with the top shading is without oops well I just alright well you get what I'm saying uh, thanks for watching